Hello, hello, my melodies. We are starting off this week with some discounted cards. I found a ultra premium collection box. Normally, uh, I think when it first retailed, it was like $150, um, but found it for $90. So I figured I would pick one up because we're still trying to complete the 151 collection and has some promos that are very playable and a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, so yeah, a pretty good value, I think, in my mind for, uh, for $90. <laughs> so let's go ahead and slide the sleeve off here. And I think I can kind of show it a little bit, kind of twofold. We have the promo cards that are in the set. This one, of course, is metal, but these are just regular promo cards. And of course, Mew is very playable, so that'll probably go into one of my decks. Um, we have a whole set of accessories here. So we have a nice coin, a nice deck box. I think the deck box has a... Uh, take a look. I think it has a, yeah, so it has a divider in there as well with the same pattern for the 151. Nice pink dice. We have the, I believe, 11 packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Well, I was wrong. So 16 packs. So, and then a play mat. So we pull the play mat out of here. We will move the box off to the side. I'm sure, I'm sure you all have seen it, but it's a nice, it's the same kind of pattern and then it has Mew. Now I do know um, some of the people at League who use this mat, they said they had to roll it out and like heat it with a hair dryer get it a little bit moist and kind of like have it be flat for a couple days. Otherwise it kept, you know, trying to roll up on itself. So keep that in mind. If you uh, pick up one of these boxes and want to want to use it, you might have to, might have to fight with the play mat a little bit, but still fun, still absolutely gorgeous. Now I believe, yeah, I believe the, uh, yeah, there we go. So the promo cards are there. And a fun Mewtwo card. And then this is metal, so they didn't put a sleeve on it. They just kind of let you pop it on out. So yeah. I think it's fun that they've been doing more metal cards. You know, and they're doing actually making it official. I know uh, a couple years ago, there was a big kind of secondary market um, demand for making metal cards and custom cards and stuff like that. There's still a lot of great Etsy artists out there doing custom cards. Of course, you can't play with them, but it's still definitely fun. Um, my wife actually got me one of the Valentine's Day um, Pikachu I Choose You <laughs> ones. So I keep that in. Uh, I keep that pretty close to me whenever I go out and do Pokemon stuff just because it's a fun, a fun little token of love <laughs> from my wife. Absolutely adorable and I love it. Okay, um, we are also going to do compare card uh, BPM zone pack battles in today's video. So let's go ahead and roll for it. We're doing slot number two, doing category. Oh, we're going to re-roll the category because we hit a six. We're going to do Pokedex number. Okay, well, it's all 151, so that should be pretty straightforward. And we're looking for the lowest Pokedex number. So that'll be fun in today's opening and like i said before let me know which of the um i guess one through 16 which packs do you think is going to have the best pools and then which pack is going to win the compare card that's how you play that's how you have fun at home that's how i kind of figure it out let me see i'm gonna say i'm gonna go with number five pack number five is gonna have the best pool and pack number um, five will have the the best compare card too. I think it's going to win both. But let me know in the comments down below what you think it's going to win. So we're starting out with number 17. Very strong compare card uh, winner so far. 17 is pretty pretty low number. So we'll have to get one of the... Of course, if we hit a starter... Oh! 
Already starting out very strong. Got the alternate art Squirtle. Beautiful card. I do need War Turtle. Um, but man, oh, and then we have a holographic energy. Oh, we got one swirl. Okay, I, I think I just see the one swirl. Boy, look at that. Starting strong with pack number one. If you chose pack number one, then <laughs> you are definitely in the lead at the moment. Overall, I'm going to sleeve this up too because I know people have been playing and I'm going to, I'm going to, Put it in the MVP, but yeah, Squirtle is is definitely better <laughs> than, than the energy there. And thank you, Blastoise. Blastoise is always hanging out in the MVP section, marks valuable Pokemon card section, and um, definitely a valuable card right there with Squirtle hanging out already. Man, starting out strong with this box. Discounted 151 cards. Um... I don't know. I'll have to check the current value um, when I go and edit this video. But I think that Squirtle might have gotten us back majority of the uh, the value of the box <laughs> already. So yeah, uh, Tangela is number one fourteen, and um, uh, yeah, just another another reminder. When I look at the Pokedex number, um, there's always a Pokedex number as kind of the flavor text for a lot of the the normal stuff. It's not on. Not on the illustration rares, but plenty of the other cards, the normal kind of looking cards, have extra information on them. We got Magmar. Ooh, and then a Full Art Jinx EX. Already starting out really strong with a couple hitters. Look at that beautiful thing. I got to remember to keep checking the uh, energy that I don't usually check energy, but this is a special set. We usually have a couple different special sets during a, um, a season or a series. We are definitely into, we have Pouting and Fates was the second kind of special set as Scarlet and Violet. So we have Horsey, number 116, not going to take over the compare card. Kadabra, there's the Kadabra card. We haven't had Kadabra in a while. Slowbro, Coughing. Toros and a Chansey just sitting on the bench, hanging out, have a four leaf clover. So cute. Oh, yeah. Check energy. <laughs> okay. We got pack number four now. Is that right? Okay. I can. That one didn't want to open too well for me. There is code cards. And well, we're starting out with Psyduck. That's pretty solid. We got Cubone as number 104. Not taking the compare card over. Magnemite, Parasect, Cloyster, Giovanni's Charisma, Cloyster again, Polyrath, and an Articuno. Yes. Oh, and a Hollow Fire. Let's see. We have, uh, I thought I saw one swirl. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there we go. We got one swirl in like the corner down here. But and again, I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve these up because I know people like to play with them, so I am gonna tuck it back here though. There we go. <laughs> it's not as fancy as the other pools. Okay, we're on to pack number five. This is what I predicted. It's gonna take over the compare card spot. And it's going to have an amazing pool. Man, if it had a War Turtle or a Blastoise, like I need I need the War Turtle for sure, but I will always take more Blastoise. Okay, we got Drowsy as number 96. So not taking over the Compare card. Already, uh, already incorrect on that path. I got Jasmine crying in the background. What are you... You want to come hang out? Yeah? Well, come on over. Okay, we got Reverse Hollow Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow Weedle and an Electrode. Okay, well, I lost the compare card. <laughs> I lost my predictions. It was not pack number five. Looks like uh, pack number one, I think, is going to be winning so far. And they're winning both, so. Absolute fun, no matter what. We're having fun. I hope you're having fun. If you're new here, we just like to have a, you know, silly, silly fun. We open up packs, we hang out, we talk about different playability, and uh, I have different openings and stuff on the channel as well. So, uh, Eevee is 133, not going to take over the compare card spot. But yeah, 
we just hang out. We have fun. We talk about some silly stuff. Talk about the week. Oh, Ninorino. Ninoran. Oh, that's yeah, not even the right. Not even the right Ninoran. I uh, spoke too soon. Okay, and then we have a Gollum EX. But yeah, if you if you like hanging out, talking about Pokemon, opening Pokemon cards, um, just you know, just hanging out with fun mystery items, silliness. Hit the subscribe button. That's what I'm trying to say. You are welcome here. Um, a lot of my channel is musical themed, so that's why I call all of you my melodies. I think each person has a unique story, a unique song, a unique melody to sing. And I believe if we can sing all together, then we can we can make some really beautiful music in this world and just hang out and live in harmony. Like that's that's the philosophy here on the channel. So if you like that or if you resonate with any of that, uh, resonate, I don't know, you uh, you uh, ha do not have dissonance with it. I, I'm trying to figure out musical terms, but yeah. <laughs> Root Hollow, Vaporeon, gold off of a card, and then a Marowak. Okay, the gold got uh, took over, and I'm pretty sure that's a higher um, numerical value than the Squirtle. So we're going to say this pack is taking over the winning of the best pool because it is the highest rarity. But yes, if, if you resonate with anything I'm saying, if you like having fun, hit the subscribe button, hit that, hit that notification bell too to know when I upload videos. I try and do, um, I've been trying to do three videos a week, I'm trying to get more into trying to do a short as well, at least a one short a week as well. So kind of getting the, the cadence down. I got a new, I got a new laptop here recently where I can uh, I can edit a bit faster. My old computer was taking a long time to edit and render anything and everything I was trying to do. So got that to speed up. Ooh, look at the Clefairy. Beautiful moon viewing invitation. We had we just had that last week, didn't we? We were all looking up at the moon in the at least in the US yeah, or North America. Um, I guess it was Central and South America, too, a little bit. I can't remember the whole path. But anyway, we had a moon watching party, <laughs> energy sticker, and then a regular Vaporeon. Nice. But yeah, come hang out. Add your song to the chorus of all of us hanging out and having fun. And if you, uh, if you live in the Indiana area, Indianapolis area, uh, feel free to come out to League Night. We can we can play games. I run raids every now and then. Um, if you don't know how to play Pokemon, like that is the best place to come out and just say hi. We have number 19. Pidgeotto was 17, right? Yeah. Oh, man. So Reddita was the closest to taking over the compare card spot, but not doing it. Oh, there's Squirtle. Um yeah, if so even if you don't know how to play or you're curious or even if you're even if you're shy, I that's one of the reasons I go to the danger room. It's a very welcoming environment. It is uh, we anybody and everybody, anybody with any skill level can go and play and hang out. We lots of trades in the back. Um, just always always something fun to do on league nights. So plan a trip. Manage to come out if you're in the local area. Just stop by on a Wednesday night. You don't have to be there right when it opens. Um, you know, it, it doesn't. We do all try and get out of there at the store closing time, which is eight. So, not a plan to be there <laughs> at least at least a little bit before eight um, to say hi. Otherwise, we wouldn't have time to play a game or something like that. But um, okay, uh, Spiro twenty one. So yeah. Feel free to come on out if uh, if Martin's not available, the, the store owner is not available to do a lesson, or if you want me to do a Pokemon lesson, um, ask for it. Ask for me. Uh, most of the time, you know, if I'll, I'll finish up a game that I'm in and uh, jump over and teach you. And you don't have to have anything. You don't have to have anything to come and learn. Um, we do, the store did get the kind of starter pack. The, well, it's called Pokemon First Steps. So there's some demo decks. There's some damage counters. Um, pretty much anything and everything that you need to start, you can get at the store. So you don't have to have any Pokemon cards. You don't have to have 
any binders or accessories or anything. Now, I will warn you, <laughs> the second you get in there and you see some of the other accessories, I'm definitely an accessory person. So like you see some of the mats that people have and you see the nice binders and, and sleeves and all that other good stuff. You get into the, you get in there and you're like, okay, well, I want to dive in. I want a little bit of everything. So be careful with your pocketbook <laughs> or your or your parents' pocketbook when you come out. But um, yeah, you can always you just start your journey. That's the that's what I'm trying to say. If you want to start your journey, I highly recommend the store and the environment and the the community that is there. Always welcoming, always willing to help out. Okay, Marowak, Slowbro, and another Vaporeon. Okay, we've had a little bit of a, a slow streak with some of these middle packs here. Let's see if we can pick it back up. Of course, I'm not, I'm not upset at all with the pull so far. Definitely given this was discounted. I, uh, I did pick up one when they first came out, but I've been waiting for the price to drop. And I'm glad I waited. Okay, we got Magikarp 129. Not going to take over the compare card. Of course, I didn't talk about the Pidgey taking over because that was one less than the Pidgeotto, but everyone understood, right? I don't know. We have Erica's Invitation, Kabuto, and ooh, oh, <laughs> ooh, and oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Zapdos EX, but talk about a miscut situation. There is no border on the side. It is way off to the right, but it looks like the pattern continued on this side. I don't know. Does it? Is it a loop? Is it a whole sheet of Zapdos, and that's how they get away from it? Because, boy, look how poorly cut that is. <laughs> wow. There's a great example. Like, you just you get a pack, you get a card that ended up just not being cut well. Wow, oh, wow. So there's an error. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely going to be an MVP section. That is so off center. I might just have to. I might just have to keep that for my collection. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have a Zapdos EX in the binder, but I might put that at the end of the binder as a wow. <laughs> that left me speechless. That's a that is a rough print. <laughs> Not print. That is a rough cut <laughs> on that card. But there you go. We're getting gold, we're getting misprints, we're getting squirtles, all the fun stuff. Number 25 himself. Um, I think this, this version is a he. Yes. Okay, so yeah. There he is, Pikachu. Not taking over the compare card spot, but making an appearance. We got Shelter, a Rigid Band, and Graveler trying to grab at you. Protective Glasses. And a Reverse Fero. Reverse Nidoran and another Machamp. Oh, and another Hollow Energy. I'm going to throw that over to the side like that instead of trying to restack everything. We're, the MVP section is getting, getting big. It's awesome. Okay, we got three packs left. So I know this is one of the, one of the longer videos. If you've hung out with me so far, and just listening and just hanging out. I really do appreciate you. Every single um, hour, every single minute that people watch helps me keep going. So you're supporting the channel just by being here, and I really do appreciate you. Reverse Hitmonlee. Ooh, Alakazam EX, and an Aerodactyl with that beautiful artwork. That is Shinji. I love that artwork style, but this Alakazam, oof. Now the gold is still after this, but this is like, yeah, this is 201. This is pretty close to the end. So a very valuable card. I'm gonna say between the Squirtle and the Alakazam there, I think I made my money back on this box. But with price fluctuations and everything, I don't usually put prices on this channel. Um, I do, I do reference eBay and TCG Player when I do trades. So that's another thing. The if you're worried about coming and you like open one up one of the prize packs at League and you want to trade some of the cards, um, feel free to grab me and ask. You know, ask them what what do you do for trades? I've helped some people build binders. Talk about how you know 
maybe a trainer is very playable. Like Buddy Buddy Poffin right now is very, very playable. So people really want to get it and uh, and be able to play with it. So reverse how for reverse hollow buddy poffins are very tradable versus another trainer that might not be there oh my goodness and we get a reverse or a reverse we get a illustration rare pikachu look at that beautiful one i do not have this in the binder i would remember this guy look at that we got a what is that a jigglypuff out front um there's maybe a gengar there as well we got growlith we've got Nidorans, Nidorino, Nidorino, Nidorina, got Butterfree, oh man, there's so much in this artwork, oh, we got Psyduck poking out over there as well, I'm trying to read through everything, got some different berries, uh, and <laughs> like a marketplace, what a beautiful card, oh, and we got, who is that, is that are those Pidgeys, <laughs> yeah, maybe Pidgeys up there, oh yeah, 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 there's the Pidgeys, what are those little guys? I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that one like in a in a magnifying glass or something. Maybe uh maybe I'll add that to the channel. Maybe uh get some type of magnifying glass where we can really dive into some of the artwork cuz that is a busy artwork and it's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> so, we're ending on some really good pulls here. Let's uh we got one more pack. So if you thought pack number 16 or 15, 15 is really good. Um, 14 was really good. Uh, pack number one also started off really well. What an amazing box. Got some stuff for the binder. Got some stuff for the trades. And then uh, if, you, if you think about value, I think I got the all the value back as well. Okay, Electabuzz is not taking over the compare card spot. We have Pidgey as the winner. I thought we were going to get one of the starters in slot number two, but did not happen. Ended up being slot number one, I think, out of all of the uh, the pools. Oh, there's a there's another fun um, trainer card that is playable and tradable grabber. I know some people definitely wanted that. We got Reverse Snorlax. Reverse Bills Transfer, and we're ending on, oh, a Yarados. Okay, so there is the recap of the Ultra Premium box. Um, oh, I, they slipped. Hold on. Why are we... All of the, all of the energies, like, wanted to stick together for some reason. Got too much moisture in this household. Need to make sure I open up and get the moisture out there we've had so much rain too recently okay anyway <laughs> recap time we got pikachu alakazam ex a very miscut <laughs> error card gold psychic energy golem ex jink ex a beautiful squirtle we have some more hollow um, energies for us to play with over here just gorgeous cards hey thanks for watching as always Remember to keep singing the song in your heart. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.